light go on? Is there a light anywhere? No, I don't see one. Let's make sure we're recording then. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay, so <laughs> the siblings, your mother's siblings. Okay, we've got Sarah, Flo, then Lou. That's one, two, three. Then Saul. Then Harry. Yeah. Then Moe, Alice, Max, Abe, Norman. Okay. But that's nine. No, so that's ten. That's ten. That's okay. Ten. Okay. Um, that house. That was. That's quite a house. Ten. Ten siblings, right? Yeah. That must have been quite an experience. Oh, she up. was telling me that my grandmother used to make cholent every week, and they used to put it in the in a bakery store. The bakery left their oven on. Well, that was very common in those days. Yeah, and my mother used to go pick up the cholent. Right. To bring go, to for Shabbos lunch. For Shabbos lunch. Yeah, sure. But, um, I mean, they had uh, Yosef Dove, he had this, this, this pants shop, what was it, what, what did he mean? Trousers, yeah, pants. Trousers uh, manufacturing? Yeah, manufacturing, little it was a, probably a little place, I mean, maybe he had two people, three people working there. Uh-huh. But that's, uh, but Aunt Ray worked for him. And, and that's, that's how he supported these ten children. Right. They were very poor. They were poor? Very poor, yeah. So, tell me about how poor people managed to support ten, ten, ten I don't siblings. know. The same way they manage today. I think when you see the people here, and you see the way they live. I went to pick up uh, books one time, at, in, I don't know, someplace, and family lived in two-bedroom apartment. Right. And they converted that, and their mother lived with them, and they must have had six kids. And they same way. Right. My mother never slept alone. She always had her, her sisters in bed with her. Mm -hmm. So let's think. What happened to everybody, to the siblings? Well, first of all, Hannah, um, okay, we talked about her sisters, no brothers. You had, you talked about Frida Helen. And, and Hannah had um, sisters because two sisters married two brothers. Because we oh, yeah? had, yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, Frida, um, Helen, and sister. Yeah. And, and, and Tanta Elsie in California married a Septimus. I don't know. I, uh, and Uncle Max. And then, oh, yeah, and then they were, no, not Max. Max Septimus and Lee, Tanta Lena lived in Bensonhurst, a block away from because we used to walk there every Shabbos, and he was in the catering business. Oh, there were a lot of them in, um, in the catering business, because we had the, because my aunt uh, Mitchell, my father, it must have been my, yeah, it must have been my grandfather's sister, who had a cake, shadow door. So we're she, talking about a sister of Yosef Dov. Yeah, Mitchell was her last name, I forgot her. They, she didn't have children. You but she know, brought first up. No, I don't remember. But she brought up two of her sister in law's or her sister's children. I saw them too, not too long ago, at a funeral. Yeah, my cousin Beatty. She, um, Uncle Max and Tante Lena lived a few blocks from us in Bensonhurst, and he was a caterer. He, he had two children, my cousin Beatty, who lived in, I kept in touch with her a lot, and her, and, and Sonny. Yeah. Beatty and Sonny were two siblings? Yeah. Now, I don't remember Tanta Elsie, I think, married, uh, 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 I think it was Tanta Elsie married a Septimus, but I don't remember the name. But my father, my grand, my mother reminisces that when one of my grandfather's brothers was married, my grandfather rented a horse and buggy. And that was the biggest thing. They went to the wedding in the horse and buggy. Right. In New York. 
Okay. Um, okay. So, just what's this? What happened with the siblings? Your mother's siblings, Sarah. Sarah married Uncle Mo, and they had two sons, Sammy and Beryl. What's, the, what's the name here? Uh, Silverstein. Silverstein, right. Okay. And they had Beryl and... And Sammy. Fine, okay. Uh, Lou, what happened to Lou? Lou married Edith, E-D-Y-T-H-E. Uh, and right. uh, they had my cousin Chai, my cousin Beryl, um, Yerucham, and Nechama. Nechama is named and oh, it must have been Bubby Hauser's mother must have been Nechama. Bubby Hauser's what? Mother must have been Nechama. Okay. Okay. All right, Lou. Uh, Harry. Harry was married twice. Helen was the first wife, and she had three sons. Uh, you know what? Um, Is Chaim? Chaim. Chaim's brothers are. Isn't, uh, Mark is one. Mark. Oh, and Chaim that, is and, Mark. Chaim Mark? No, no. Charles. Chaim is Charles. Charles. Yeah. Uh, Chaim, and uh, then Barry. Barry, that's what I was saying. Yeah. yeah. Barry. Barry and uh, and Mark. Okay. That's Helen number one. Yeah. Helen number two never had children because they were divorced later on. There was a story here. Right, never mind. Okay, so that's Harry married to Helen's. Yeah. Helen number two. Wait, lived here in Yushalayim. Right. She never had kids. No. Right. That's bad. I don't remember her dying. She's not. Have both Helens are alive. But Helen number one is suffering from cancer, but Helen number two is all, is alive. Where did she live? I think she moved to Florida. Uh, they lived in Riverdale after Harry died. But he had a, they had a beautiful apartment on Fifth Avenue, overlooking the park. Well, Helen had a nice apartment here in. Uh, yeah. In Okay, now who comes after that? Okay, okay uh, that was Harry. Saul. Six is. Oh wait, I missed. I skipped. You missed Saul. I skipped Saul. Yeah. Okay, Saul is married to Blanche. Uh, I just spoke to her. She's amazing. Uh, they have Lisa, Beryl. Uh, Why are there a lot of Beryls? Because my grandfather was Beryl. Yosef Dove. Dove was Beryl. Dove Bear. Right, Dove Bear. Because a Dove is a bear in Hebrew. Yosef Bear. I was the first one. And my Devorah. Because he died in between my brother and me. You were the first grandchild? No, yeah, no, the first grandchild named after him. Oh. My brother was the first. Your brother was the first, but they. But ah, but your grandfather died subsequent after your brother was born. Born. And before you were born. Right. They called you Devorah because like Dove. Right. That's a good piece of information. <laughs> okay. So uh, Saul's kids was Lisa, Beryl. Uh, That's okay. It's not important. Okay. That's fine. Um, then comes, uh, we did Harry. Six, Moe. 
Harry, yeah, Moe had um, Alan, well, Alan's the youngest, um, Irene, and Joseph. Who did Moe marry? Uh, uh, Dorothy Mandelbaum. We lived in her father's house when we were evicted from Bedsonhurst. We moved into Bedstein, and her father had an apartment for us. Mm. Okay. And they had a couple of kids? Yeah. No grandchildren, by the way. Joseph, um, Alan, and Irene. Why do you say no grandchildren? Because Moe, none of his children had children. So this is the Irene. Irene. You know Irene. Yeah, sure. Irene. Okay. And next? That's it. Okay. Irene is gone. I know, she died of this strange yeah, story. Is. Okay. Okay, Moe was six, seven is Max. Max had Who did he marry? Two cho uh, three children, two or three. Oh, Max married... Uh, Seal, Seal Lamb. They had a butcher store in Williamsburg, Lambs. Yeah. What did Max do though? A lot of these are accountants, right? They were all accountants. They were all accountants. Except Moe, who was a math teacher. He taught in Torah Vidas and he taught in Stuyvesant High School. Math teacher. Yeah. All others. Did any of the girls work? My mother worked. Your mother worked as that was the story. That was the story, yeah. She was the bookkeeper. And then she. Did Sarah ended, or Alice work? No, Alice died young. Alice died young. So my mother worked in Alice's husband's skirt factory. Mm -hmm. Aaron's Uncle Aaron. Right. Oh, that was after. When World War One, World War Two broke out, they were looking because everybody went into men. Went Say that again. So your mother worked with whose factory? Uncle Aaron site. Aaron Seif. Yeah. Uh, where does that fit in? When World War II broke out, the men went into the army and they were looking. That's when women started working, really. Right. And women went, and my mother worked for my uncle. Aaron Seif. When, how he's your uncle? Alice's husband. Uh, Alice's husband. Your mother went to work for Alice's husband. Right. Okay. Good. All right. Now. That was after she was married. Yeah. Yeah. When when they started when things were always rough, so it eased up a bit. World War Two. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So. Um, All right. Then. That's your mom. That's your mom's siblings. Ma uh, Max's son, Beryl, has an orchestra, by the but way. We didn't do Abe and we didn't do Norman. Abe has two children, yeah. Right. Abe, Abe married? Married twice. He right. married. I remember that, yeah. yeah. He married um, Ruthie. Ruth is one. Ruth. Jacobs. Famous Jacobs family. Very philanthropic. And, and then he, he divorced Ruth. And he married Peppy. Peppy, right. Peppy, right. right. <laughs> she had some European accent, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a Zouderer. He Z After he died. Yeah, Zouderers. What is? Oh, oh that's the name that of her, was her maiden name. Her ma no, her previous name. Previous name, yeah. It was, uh, that was also a dynasty. They came to visit us a lot in Manhattan. Yeah. Abe, li Abe slept in your room a lot. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right. On 66th Street. 66th Street. Right. All right. Now, um... That was eight. Wait. Uh, eight, nine is Norman. Norman is, uh... Yo, 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 Chavet. Yo, yo, uh, the kid. Rebecca. Norman married... Uh, Gross. Rashi Gross. Oh, I knew that because I know it's the gross. Right, right. It was. Uh, That's right. In your school. Right. What was his name? 
the uh, teacher, and then the Bobby Gross. Bobby, yeah. yeah. And was Joey Russian. was her brother, and he was, I bought a car, 1934 Oldsmobile from Joey Gross. And my father was the only one that could drive it. <laughs> okay. It was either that or a motorcycle. And my mother wouldn't let me get a motorcycle. <laughs> That's funny, because I remember whenever I was in school, I, your mother came with me to, it was in Miami. Because then we looked at that motorcycle. Oh, I wanted my motorcycle. <laughs> All right, so that's cool. So that's your mom and her siblings. Bracha. Brachi. Brachi. Was that Norman's? Kid? No, Abe's. Brachi and. What's his Okay. You see him on the internet. He has a lot of real estate. Mm -hmm. Okay, what? Okay. All right. And okay, so your childhood was really family. I still remember all my uncle. My father bought my brother. You were closer when you grew up than with your father's siblings than with your no, mother. With both. With both. Because they were still single. You have to realize my uncles were my peer. My uncles, Norman is six years older than my brother. Was six years older than my brother. So you got to realize it was. They came to Bensonhurst very often. They liked coming to Bensonhurst. So they came, and I'll never forget Deceptivus. my yeah. My father brought my brother a Lionel electric train for something I don't remember. That was a real big thing, and I remember standing in the doorway, and there were my uncles <laughs> playing with the electric train, and my brother and I were standing. <laughs> <laughs> but I still have that picture of when I was a little girl on in Bensoners. <laughs> So we were close, we were close, it was a very family, we didn't have television, right. we didn't have internet, so it was a very close family. But you look, you lived in the same neighborhood. And we didn't have to, we had more time to mingle. We don't have as much time today. Right. We don't, it's a, it was a different kind of life then. Mm -hmm. It was, the pace was completely different. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit. And how do you meet <coughs> Daddy? Oh, that was very interesting. I met Daddy. Daddy and Asuka and Grandpa shared an office with Spilky. That they were accountants. And when we ran out of, we used to use. I worked for Septimus. I worked for Louis J. Septimus. Mm -hmm. I was. <coughs> I used to do his typing and I right. was the little secretary, secretary because my mother and father wouldn't let me go much further than Louis Septimus. I mean, they were very protective. So uh, we got to... Uh, so you had the same office as Fensterheim, Fensterheim. Fen Fensterheim and Fensterheim had an office with... In the same building. In the, the office same. building. In the same office. And so. We were on the sixth floor, they were on an immig uh, the Immigrant Savings Bank building, and they were on the second floor. Manhattan. Manhattan. And I went to, um, I used to get tax forms, and because we used to change, if we ran out of tax forms, mm -hmm. we would have to go borrow, either we went or they sent me to downtown to Wall Street area, I remember going down there. And um, one of the secretaries thought it would be a good idea to introduce us. Mm -hmm. And I was very impressed. This was the best thing. I went out on our first date, and we went to the um, where the World's Fair used to be. We went to the uh, sh what was that sea show that they had there? Uh, but anyway, we went there, and grit. Daddy got on the expensive line. I will never forget this. I said he must be rich because I used to watch every penny because we were so poor. So I said he must be rich. And then years later, he told me the only reason the line was around the block, <laughs> the cheaper, and it was like 50 cents difference. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he bought the tickets there. So that was our first date. That was cool. Yeah. And um, uh, Alvin was in Korea at the time. Uh -huh. That's Ash's Uncle Alvin. And we used his car. He had a Pontiac. Oh, okay. So 
I remember being picked up in Bensonhurst uh -huh. and going there. And the, oh wait, no, we lived on Hart Street at that time. Yeah, and we lived on Hart Street. Now, when you when you grew up, uh, okay, so your mother was religious growing up. Your father was. My not. father became religious. He became religious when they got married. No, not totally. It was a very difficult time because um, my uncle Louis used to tell me he took me to Florida once and with my mother's friend Sarah Spindell and he, say, he says he remembers me saying he will never, I only wanted to marry somebody that was religious at that time, I was a teenager, because I saw what my mother went through. She was a very strong woman, my mom, in religion. Right. So she wouldn't uh, tolerate your, no. your my, father? And yeah, my father was a chain smoker. He wasn't allowed to smoke in that house on Shabbos. So it was a different kind of, uh, it was a difficult time. But then he became very religious. You remember, and uh, you remember Pa. And then he, um, and my grandmother said she was the be he was the best thing that ever happened, kind of. He used to come over there and fix everything for her. Uh -huh. He used to take care of her all the time. Right. Okay. Let's. So let's go back. You. So. You, so you went out with Daddy. Mm -hmm. And how long did that? Or did you go out before you got engaged? We went out during the summer, or before the summer, and we the, during the summer we met in the summer, and we got married in March. Mm hmm. Okay. Good. All right. And. Uh, and it'll be 59 years. That's great. Yeah. So, and that's so we it. We had to plan the 60th anniversary. We don't have to, you know, <coughs> we could do quietly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this was, it was very exciting. We, as, as you said, family was very important. Let's okay. see what we're doing here. That's it. You could go now. Because it's 10. 10.